Today we're doing a 20 minute postpartum cardio workout. And within that workout, I'm going to include a five minute booty finisher. We're gonna work on booty strength and volume. You don't need any equipment for this workout. However, I did notice that a lot of you are past the 12 month postpartum mark. So I am gonna add the option of some high impact advanced options. Today is day eight of the postpartum workout challenge, or you can do this as a standalone workout as well. And if you don't know about the challenge, I will link in the description box below. Let's start with a quick warm up. We can take our feet apart. Let's circle our arms, keeping our ribs pulled in and down. Going forward. Good, let's shift our weight to one foot. We can circle our knee around, exhale as it comes up and around. Switching sides. Good, let's just take some mini squats here. Just bringing some blood flow to the area. Good, come on up. Let's stretch through our groin. We can shift our weight back and forth. Shifting to one side, we can flex. Gentle stretch here. Good, other side. I'm gonna set the timer now for 40 seconds of movement with 20 seconds of walking between. We only have 40 seconds. So to get the results that you're looking for, focus on your intensity and your form. For our first move, we're going to bring our knee up, exhale, come up on your toes or jump, and then take a lateral lunge here using the power of your glutes to come back up, moving into the next move. Setting up, engaging your core. Let's walk it out, or you can jog if high impact is safe for you. Getting ready for the other side. Up. Lunge, really sitting back into your hips. Walk it out. Let's take it wide. We're going to pulse here, jumping jack arms. Shoulders are low, core is strong.
This one's harder than it looks. <laughs> Walk it out. We're gonna set up for modified burpees, or if it's safe for you, you can do a regular burpee. But we'll get down on all fours. Coming up on your toes, we're jumping. Using your core, switching legs as you come down. Squeezing your legs at the top as you reach up. Punching to the side here. Exhale as you punch, twisting your hips to protect your core. We're going to set up in a static lunge, lunging down 90 degrees, reach up, coming up on your toes or jumping. Squeezing all your muscles. Walk it out. We're not okay. I look into your eyes and see you fade away. But we're not the same. It's like we're on two sides of the Milky Way. Somehow we're sitting up on the other side. You're doing great. This one is hard. We've got one more and then we'll take a water break. Sumo squad. Arms in, punch out strong. Core strong. Do you agree? This is not the way it is supposed to feel. Squeezing your glutes at the top. I'm tired of feeling blue when I lose my 
Knees pressing open. Last one. Nice, walk it out. Take a breath. Take our hands up. Amazing work. Let's take a sip of water. Let's bring our arms up to power arms, shift our weight to our left foot, exhale. You're gonna bring elbow to knee, or if you have diastasis recti, you're lifting slowly. Wherever you are, go. Arms and shoulders are strong. Walk it out. You can also take a side stretch if needed. Setting up on the other side. Exhale, use your core. Walk it out. We're gonna lunge to the right. Next. Straight arm, straight leg, using your core. If it's only here, that's okay too. Take a stretch on the other side. Setting up for our last cardio move. Last one. Take a breath. Do you 
Let's get down on all fours. We're gonna work our glutes. We've got 30 seconds of each move here. We're gonna take our heel up and we're gonna drive it up using your glutes, re-engaging your core, drive it up. Good, take it high, and now pulse here. Awesome job. Straighten it. We'll move into rainbows here. Keeping your hips stable, not rocking back and forth. Other side, driving it up. What's your story? What's your sign? Keep it higher, tiny pulses. Hopefully you're feeling a burn now. Re-engaging your core if you need to. Lengthen it out, rainbows. Bring it in. Nice work. We have 30 seconds to get in it to our wall squat, so we can take a quick stretch here. If you don't have a wall, you can also just find a squat position. And when you're ready, let's go down. You've got 60 second hold here. Engaging your core. You can also work your pelvic floor if you wanted to challenge your pelvic floor as well. Halfway done. Amazing, you did it. Let's stand up, we can shake it out. Let's take a quad stretch here. I can hurt 
Release, other side. Good. Stretching it through your groin. Come on up, we can do a standing figure four if you wanted to get down on the ground. Also, you can if you want to hold on to a wall for balance. Let's cross one leg over, stretching through your glutes again. Good, release. Switching to the other side. Come on up, let's get down on the ground for one last wide-legged forward fold. Moving back and forth. Exhale, engage, bringing your legs in. I am super sweaty and I feel like you got a great workout. Let me know if you feel like you also are sweaty by putting some sweat emojis in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me. You did amazing as always and tomorrow I'll be back for day nine. Make sure you are subscribed and hit the notification bell.